Okay, to create the lid of my box, I have a piece of solid cardstock that I have cut using my scallop circle die and a piece of pattern paper that I've cut using the circles number three die. What I did uh, was lay my scallop circle down on my scoring tool, and I happened to use a Martha Stewart scoreboard, and I found roughly the center point on my scallop circle, and I used a scallop on each side to kind of be my guide. And then what I did was I scored at a half an inch from the center line on either side, so that I ended up with uh, score lines that were one inch apart. Uh, this is going to be important to fitting it to the top of my box. Then I take my pattern paper piece, and applying a generous amount of adhesive, and you want to get as close to the edges as you can in the front and in the back so that you get good adherence. There we go. Let's set that aside. And I'm going to layer that right in the center of my circle. I'm going to turn my circle over and where I have my score lines, or my scallop circle, where I have my score lines, I'm just going to fold and burnish. Now, the important thing is going to be to decide which point, which half of the circle you want to be your front of your person, which half the back. And this just happens to have a nice flower in the front and really not much pattern in the back uh, or on the other side. So I'm going to make it a that the back of my purse. Apply adhesive. Now, in applying adhesive to to the um, the scalp circle, you want to make sure you don't go past the first score line because only the first section is going to be attached to the purse. Pick your box shape up, and on the back of the purse, you want to match up your your um, top so that it's centered, and the score line is right above the top of your box, and that just folds right over the top. Now, to hold my lid closed on my purse, I'm going to use a jumbo brad, and I'll show you how I made the hole for the brad and uh, how I uh, use it to secure the, the purse closed. Let me grab my crocodile and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to show you how I um, made my brad um, work well as a closure for the front of my purse. What I did was I closed my purse without any uh, thing uh, to hold it shut. I just held my finger over the flap, and you'll notice that there is a on the scallops. There is a scallop that is, mo that is closest to the center, a space between two scallops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a dot there, just using uh, a gel pen or whatever kind of pen you have handy. And you can let that flap go. And then I took a piece of this is just foam uh, stamp mat. They're very inexpensive. I actually got this one free with a really cheap stamp set, and I cut it to fit inside my purse. And I'm going to use my paper piercer, and I'm actually going to just punch a hole. I'm going to set all of that aside, <clears throat> and I'm going to take my brad, and I'm going to insert it through the hole. This is a Stampin' Up! Uh, decorative brad. I'm going to put it in there. Now, I don't put it quite flush with the paper. I leave just a little bit of wiggle room. Maybe uh, I can get my fingernail be between the, the paper and the brad easily and uh, open up the prongs there. Now, if I take my purse, or my, my lid from my purse, I'm going to fiddle with this for a second and just pull that brad, that space open. If I uh, insert my purse, it will fit and stay between uh, the two um, scallops there, but just to make it easier to open and close, what I did was I took my scissors and I just cut a tiny bit off to make a little V shape and that makes it much easier to uh, secure your lid in there every time in exactly the same place. So that's how I got my, my uh, brad to act as a closure. Now I need a handle for my purse. <clears throat> so what I did was I took my crocodile and I'm actually going to use the the smaller of the two holes, and I'm going to go right in the center on both sides. I'm going to take a length of certainly celery ribbon that matches my cardstock, but you could use whatever matches your pattern paper or cardstock best. 
going to insert one end through each hole. And just the length of my handle. Now I like my handle quite a, uh, short so that it stands up on its own. I'm going to open it back up. And I'm actually going to tie a knot. Snug the knot right down against the, the cardstock. Now I don't trim my tails yet because I want to make sure that I uh, adjust everything. I'll tie a knot on the opposite side. And the only thing I have left to do is to go back and trim my tails. I hope that today's project has inspired you to do something creative. If you have any questions, please email me or check out my blog, craftingforfun.blogspot.com, for other project ideas. Happy stamping!